Hey, what up? Uh, vlog number four. 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 Almost at three. But I already did vlog number three. But here's vlog number four. Uh, I am currently outside freezing my ass off. Literally. Actually, no, it's not that bad. But uh, I just got out from working out and I thought, I thought I'd do vlog number four. I make it special today a little bit by going outside and doing it with my phone. Literally. I'm saying literally way too much. But, uh... I'm doing vlog number four today because something awesome happened today. Uh, so let me let me go ahead and start. Um, so uh, I had uh, I had school today. Obviously, everyone had school today. Today was my last day too for, uh, before Thanksgiving break, or we're on Thanksgiving break right now. And um, so I got to skip most of my classes, for my first, second, and third period, because we had Science Day, and Science Day is like when. Um, Little kindergartners, first graders, second graders show up to our school, and we do science for them, and they get and they get amazed. Um, so I was in my old chemistry class because I'm in the science club. Yes, because I'm a nerd. I love science, and well, I don't. I fucking hate science, but uh, I just love that teacher because she's chill, and she's chill with me. So she wanted me to help out. Anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, so I was doing science club, uh, the science club thing, and uh, we got a break, like a one-hour break. Uh, me and this girl went out to go get food, lunch, and then um, we came back. The girl I was with wasn't that attractive because she was like, "Ugh, gross, gross." Came back. Uh, there's this really pretty blonde chick. She looked like um, Felicity from Arrow. If you guys watch that show. If you haven't, I highly recommend it because it is a good fucking show. It's just like one of the best shows. And the Arrow and The Flash on the CW. You can also watch it on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix, I am giving you free advertisement, so I better get paid for this shit. I'm kidding, Netflix. Don't, don't, don't. I'm just kidding with that. But, um, yeah, watch Arrow, and you'll know who Felicity is. You'll probably get to know her by, by, the, end of, uh, by the end of episode two or three. Uh, but anyways, so I met this girl. She looked like her, her, uh, and her name was uh, Jordan, Jord Jordan. I forgot her last name, but uh, her name was Jordan. So I got, um, I was like, hey, and I said hey to her, and I asked her if she had lunch, and she was like, oh yeah, I did. So we moved on. Uh, we didn't talk after that that much. We just said, did you eat lunch? And that's it. That's about it. And we moved on, and then we got like a about a fifty minute break when the kids came by and went. She came by my uh, my group, and we we're doing a flame test, and she wondered what it was, and I showed her, which probably got her hooked. And then I went over to her station, and um, I asked her what she was doing, and which was pretty fascinating. So after that, uh, after all the fiasco um, of the kids, after it ended, my, our teacher told us to organize everything, put everything back where it was. We did that, and then she told us to like cut some papers. And now I saw her and this other girl cutting papers, and there was a lot of them. So I just had to help out by getting another scissor and cutting it. And she started asking her questions. I started asking her questions. We kind of talked a little bit here and there. It wasn't that much, but it was pretty. It was a friendly conversation, I guess you could say. So after we were done with that, um, I saw her. She isolated herself just by herself. Like, I was in a group of everyone else, and we were just talking, talking crap, talking crap about other people, and talk, just talking. And I saw her, she was, like, in the corner. She was, like, one of those really cute-looking girls who likes to be by themselves, and she was, like, drawing, a, drawing pictures, a portrait. And it looked like Angelina Jolie. And I went up to her, and I said, those are some pretty nice drawings. And I complimented her on that, and she said, thank you, and stuff like that. And I told her how she was better at um, drawing than me. And, um, so after that we were talking and my friend, all, uh, well, not my friend, my friend's little, young, yeah, younger brother came up and he started macking on her, but it kind of faded away because he kind of made it awkward, like it was an awkward silence. I kind of revived it back and I told her, I complimented her and was like, yeah, I really like your outfit and stuff and she said thank you and stuff like that. And then we were just talking, I was sharing my stories with her and, um, she, she, uh, found out she was a really big, um, horoscope kind of nerd and um i told her to why don't you read my horoscope and she did she read it out loud what my horoscopes were and i asked her do you, what do you think do you think um it's true and she was like yeah i think you're a pretty nice guy your stories are pretty interesting it's pretty engaging 
And then I saw her yawning, and I was like, yeah, in, in, interesting, engaging, right? You're yawning at my stories, and it just like a joke. And she kind of laughed at that, and uh, she was like, no, they're pretty interesting. And I told her, yeah, that, you're the first one to say that. Everyone else thinks it's pretty boring, like you, uh, like, you know, how you thought it was boring and yawned. And she was, like, laughing about that, and I just teased her a little bit. And then um, found out more that she likes acting. We kind of related on acting. Like, uh, I was talking to her about, like, how I did acting and stuff. And she wanted to be an actor, not, like, a theater actor. And that's what I wanted to be, too, but I took theater instead in high school. And uh, I was telling her, and, like, she, she was, like, referring me, like, um, casting places and stuff. And I told her, hey, why don't you do me a favor? And you should text me those ad uh, links. So I gave her my number, and she gave me her number, and then uh, we kind of talked a little bit, and then like it was almost at the end of the class period, and she asked me, it's like, I'm going to go up for a walk outside, do you want to come with me? And I was like, hey, yeah, I, I want to come. And then we walked outside, we talked a little bit more, and then I was confronted by two of my friends, and they, were, they saw me with her, and they were like, yeah, it's as good as that, and they were, they were like, yeah, such friends you have. I was like, yeah, they're, they're like that, they're just asses and stuff and she was laughing at that too and then I finally stopped her I was like hey stop uh, and then she was like okay what's up I showed her like the picture of Emily Bet, Bet I'm sorry Emily uh, Elizabeth or Emily forgot your name honestly I th I'm pretty sure it's Emily I'm sorry Emily if I got your name wrong you I am one of your biggest fans Emily Bet Bet Rickards love you girl you are awesome you're the best Felicity anyone can ever see. do it. But, uh, yeah, you're awesome. Uh, I showed her, like, how she looked like Emily Bet, uh, Bet Rick Rickards, and she was amazed, and she kind of, she go she was hooked onto me, and then, uh, I walked her to her class, gave her a hug, and she told me to text her and stuff, and then later on, I went over to my wingman's, wingman's house, Justin, Justin's house, and then, um, I was there, we were doing a podcast, and then uh, she texted me the address of the casting sites, and then I, I was like, hey, thank you, and then how are you doing, and then uh, we kind of engaged a little bit, and then later on I had to go back to my new house, I'm moving, yes, if I haven't already said that in my previous vlogs, and uh, I was just like um, cleaning, and I, I, I was like, t uh, we were j talking to when I was cleaning too, and then I finally told her, hey, I need to go. But um, I will text you later. And she was like, okay, all right, that's fine. And we're just joking around on our texts and, and stuff. But, uh, yeah, pretty much I would just want to say, like, I want to make pick up into a normal habit now that I want to go do it even at school, even outside when I'm, like, at the mall with my parents and whatnot. But, yeah, I just wanted, I just wanted to update you guys on my latest vlogs. And, like I said, every time I do an interaction with a girl or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight girls, I don't care how many... I am going to do a vlog, no matter what camera I'm using. Right now I'm using my iPhone. Other ones I used my um, my laptop. Maybe next time I might use my new HTC That's my that might come in later. Or if I get my... Well, I, well, I already have one, but uh, if I get that fixed, then I might use that. But thanks for listening, guys. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and criticize on my vlogs. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next vlog.